pumpkins at the pumpkin patch. I have been the recipient of numerous CWC education program grants over the years. The bulk of the work of late has been in partnership with Farm Cat Skills. Initially, we did a series of songwriting workshops called Cultivating Connections. I am an earthworm. I am an earthworm. Slithering around. Elementary students had the opportunity to see the relationship between clean water and growing healthy food. The educational program it was in the watershed agreement. It was a program to help educate upstate residents and downstate residents the importance of water quality. We're up here at Frost Valley with our full 8th grade class from Columbia Secondary School who have been studying New York City's water history and are applying that hands-on here at Frost Valley. Once you get across to the other side, you will dismount, you will walk on down, and you'll just hang out for the rest of us there. Now, you will... Have you guys ever seen anything like this in New York City? No, no never. not really. <laughs> this river right here, it's called the Never Sink River. Something we did for the first time last year, and it's been really great, is meeting with eighth graders from the Catskills. So it's nice to have that interaction from city kids and Catskills kids and have this interaction and kind of friendly debate after this, you know, kind of tensions built over many years of, about the water supply. I'm also excited about be meeting people from a new area and seeing other people's ways of life and uh, meeting people out of the uh, county. You're going to kick up the rocks. You need to put the net all the way down to the ground. All the way down. We're here to do Streamwatch, which is a program that the Catskill Center runs. We receive funding from the Catskill Watershed Corporation. Today we're working with the Gilboa Coensville Central School 7th grade class. We're testing for the level of nitrate, like the stuff, like fertilizer that's going into the stream and stuff. Mayfly larvae. They've learned about the pollution level that's in the stream, and they're doing a macroinvertebrate count right now, counting pollution tolerant versus intolerant species, which will also give us another indicator of the health of this stream. The only way that you're going to truly raise a generation of environmental stewards is by teaching them to love the world in which they live kids need a different approach. We're able to combine science and art and help them develop that deep love for the environment and want to care for the environment. Because if they don't, then, then what hope do we have for the future? 1.4 billion, yeah, right around there. 1.4 billion gallons of water.